everyone. Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And you can see by this week's project, we are officially into Christmas and I love this time of the year. And I also know how hard it is and how difficult it is to get all those Christmas cards made. So for those special people on your list, those few people that you want to do something special for, this kind of a card is the perfect thing to do. And honestly, they don't take very much time. Don't overthink them. You can really do these projects in just a few minutes. So I'm going to show you a perfect example on how to make a simple little Christmas card like this one uh, in just a few minutes. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to put this together. And so we need a few things. We're going to start out with the uh, rustic container set. So the little stump here, it's one of my favorites super versatile. Uh, the next one is the bird bath set. So we're going to use one of these little birds, this one right here, and the little birdhouse. So that one. Uh, in the branches set, this has become one of my new favorites. Uh, we're going to use this one right here. And then in the new foliage set, uh, we're going to use the little evergreen, so the little fur bow right here. And that's all we need to do these. And actually, we only need a few colors. So here again, super simple. We're using four pens and just a few little stamps. So super easy to do. Okay, so let's get going. We're gonna start out with the basic image. And those of you who have watched these videos, you know that this is the starting point on all these projects. And there's something intimidating about a white blank sheet of paper, whether it's watercolor paper or cardstock. So when you have a starting point, I feel like that takes the stress out of everything. So we're going to do this little stump and because we're putting it in the snow, we want to make this a little grayer. So we want to take some of the, of the warmth out of this color. And so we're going to stamp it in two colors. So we're going to start out with the 86 and then we're going to stamp it off. Sometimes we stamp off the, the two colors. Sometimes we leave it and color right over the top. And in this case, we're going to stamp it off. We don't want too much of this blue on here. We just want to cool down that sepia. So we're going to take that off like that. And now we're going to go back and ink it again. So we're going to ink it again now with the sepia. And sepia is that brown magic color, the color of dirt, tree bark, the color of outside, the color that we use for so many of these projects. So we're going to stamp it kind of right in the middle of our paper. So just like that. Okay, so I've got my little hollow log stamped in the center of my paper. So let's go on and add in the branches. So we're going to do that with two colors. We're going to first ink it in the, um, in the sepia. And I don't need this whole thing, so I'm going to stop right about here. And then I'm going to go over it again with the pine green. So I'm going to ink this up in two colors. It kind of gives us a little different... Uh, combination here and we're going to just stamp it in next to the little hollow log and maybe one more time in here and then let's just clean some of that off and just put it in one more time over on this side that looks perfect okay so let's go on to the next step <clears throat> and we're going to add some uh we're going to add the little birdhouse in and snow on the top and the reason we haven't pulled any color out of the lines yet is because we're going to put some snow in the background so we want to make sure we get those little dots in before we uh, blend all of our color together Okay, so let's go ahead and um, just just kind of um, color in this little snowy area and just put a little mound on the top of your little stump. And I'm using the number 86, so this is African Violet, the fine tip. And go ahead and just put a few more little lines out here like this around this little, uh, this little stump. Okay, super easy to do. Don't overthink things like this. Just, just kind of brush it in. So let's go ahead and put in the little um, birdhouse now. And we're going to ink this. We're going to use a positioner because we want to set it right on top of that snowy area, right on top of that little stump. So I'm going to use my positioner, place my little acrylic plate inside, and ink this with the sepia. And I don't want this detail on top of the roof. So I don't know if you can see that really well on the camera, but we're going to make this little roof snowy. So we don't want a lot of this detail on here. So we want to just leave this off. So go ahead and just ink that with the sepia. If you get a little bit on there, it's okay. This is just a tiny little roof. And then go over it one more time with the African violet. So just add a little of this blue in here too. And remember, just on the edges um, of that roof. And stamp it right into the corner of your little acrylic plate like that. 
And now we can move this over here and place it exactly where we want to place it. So that looks pretty good right about here. And so I'm going to place my little positioner right back there. And before I stamp it, I'm just going to use a post-it note and just cover this little area here. So carefully just pull this up and place that right in here like that. And then you can go ahead and stamp your little birdhouse right there. So now we've got it sitting right on top of this little snowy mound. So that's perfect placement right there. And let's go ahead and do one more thing and let's put our little bird in at the top. So we're gonna use the positioner again. We can use a different corner this time. And let's ink this little guy just in the sepia. Use this. Use the side of your brush marker. I know I don't say this enough times, but I see a lot of times people use the tip and try to color all these little lines in with the tip. Use the side. It's gonna go much faster. You'll be able to get that color on there way easier. Okay, so in the corner again, and then just place this little guy right on top of his little birdhouse. So that looks good right there. And don't, don't use a real heavy hand. Just lightly stamp these images in. You don't want to see huge, bold lines in here. Um, that's going to give you too much color. So just carefully, it's more like pressing, not really stamping, you know, where you're really pushing hard on that stamp. Okay, so now let's go on to our snow. We're going to add our snow. We're going to use that with the Molotov, the little um, mess pen. So go ahead and shake this up. Uh, one thing I want to say about this is I haven't used my mask pen in a few weeks. So sometimes when you use it and then you put it away, it can dry up around the edge. So just clean this tip off and just pump it again. Just keep pumping it and you'll get that liquid back out again. So um, I had to do that with mine too. So now put your little snow in kind of wherever you want to put it. Uh, think about your image, you know, when you go to do sky as a circle and try to keep your sky and your background in this little area. Otherwise, what happens is your sky will kind of go off the page and kind of get out of control. So if you kind of think about uh, this area, you don't want to go past that area. I don't know if that's helpful to you or not, but it does help me. Okay, so we've got our little snow, snowy dots in here. And we're gonna let that dry and I will be back in five minutes. Okay, I'm back and you can see that the masking fluid is dry. You can tell because it changes color a little bit and the color gets darker. So we know that it's dry and we're ready to move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and um, put in our little um, fur boughs. And we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the pine green again on these. I'm just gonna put these, you know, wherever. If you want a ton of them, put in a ton of them. If you just want a few, that's okay too. Uh, make sure you stamp it a few times though. You really still need to get that dark to light um, ratio in here. So it looks like it's more three dimensional. And maybe just a couple more in here like this. And maybe one here. So now let's go ahead and add water to this. We haven't added water to anything yet. So this really is the fun part because you kind of see everything sort of come to life. I just love doing this part of it. This is the relaxing part. So, you know, I always say this is the relaxing way to watercolor because watercolor is, uh, can be very intimidating and people who watercolor and are really good at it, they do it a lot. And it's kind of their, you know, their main hobby for, but for crafters, you know, we do a lot of things. So, you know, watercolor is just one of them. So it needs to be easier for us. And I feel like this is, this is just the easiest way to watercolor because nobody would ever guess that this was stamped. And that can just be your secret. They don't have to know. So you can see this gray color now on this, this log. That's because we did the two colors. So we don't want too much blue in here. We just want to kind of gray it up a little bit. And that's what that African violet does. So putting that on and then stamping it off and then adding the sepia gives us this really cool color. So you can just pull this out. When you get to the snow up here, you wanna just put a little line across the bottom. See how that pops that snow up? 
Um, you want to be sure and always add this in here because if, if you don't add any color to the white area, it's going to look flat. So we kind of want to pop that uh, snow up and we do that by just making a line right underneath. And then out here, when you're doing the snow out here, you just kind of follow these lines. Just follow them out until the color is gone. So it'll just kind of fade out and you can see you're building up this little snowy area here. It just kind of works. It's so easy. That's why I always say don't overthink things because just, um, just doing the simple steps uh, makes it, I feel it makes it more fun and makes it easier. Okay, so we've got our little foliages in here. Let's go on to the little birdhouse. And remember, we wanna keep this little roof line uh, white, mostly white, so it doesn't take a lot of color here. And we can put just put a little shadow here. Uh, in this little opening, you wanna always remember to darken that opening. That's gonna really make it look three-dimensional when you see this dark center here. Can see how that really pops things out and I would really darken these under this little eave here too. really make that darker the whole the whole goal is to make things look three-dimensional that's what we're trying to do and even the tiny little things like this little perch don't forget that little dark line you can see how that really pops that up I know these areas are tiny but these little details make such a difference they really really do you could even take your fine tip and really, whoops, really darken in some of these little creases and crevices in this log. So just take that fine tip and you can see how that really just makes everything more three-dimensional. And I'm just using the African violet. Okay, so remember what we did on the stump, how we built this snow up here? We're gonna do that same thing on the little roof line. So we're just gonna kind of build this little snowy area up on top. And that's really all we have to do here. Okay, so let's go on now to the little bird. And really pinch your, pinch your brush off when you're doing these because these lines are really, really tiny. And so they don't need a lot of water. And we're mostly just keeping him uh, just a really light brown because we're gonna do sky all around him, so that's gonna really pop him up. Uh, the eye, make sure the eye is very dark and his little beak. And if you lose any lines here, just put them back in. This is sepia that I'm using. So don't be afraid to put those lines back in. So now let's do the freehand part. This is really fun. Don't be stressed out by this. And we're just gonna take a little, the fine tip. Now this is the fine tip from the, um, the pine green. And we're gonna make just a little uh, line that's coming out of his beak. So just like this. So just a little tiny branch. And this is optional. If this is too stressful, you don't have to put this in, but it is really fun. It's fun. So now we're gonna take our, our fine tip and we're gonna make three little leaves here. Or you can do four if you want to. So start out by making just little ovals. So just kind of like a, kind of looks like a little flower. And then add just a few little tiny points on it. So we're making a little holly, a little holly bow. And remember, it's just the idea of things, so don't stress out about stuff like this at all. And let's add the little berries to it. So just a few. Just like that. And if you want to, you can add some more of these little berries in here. So let's just add a few just kind of here and there, just as many as you want to. Okay, like so. So let's go ahead and brush in the sky. That's our last step. And we're gonna do that with the African Violet and we're gonna do it from a palette. So we wanna be sure and uh, not do that direct to paper. So you're gonna add this African Violet to your palette and just add water to it. So you're gonna really wash this out. Better to start out way, way light. And remember what I said about keeping the sky in this circle area. And just brush this in. Try to stay away from these lines, like the, um, the lines of the bird. You don't wanna to get too close to him. Um, stay away from these lines of the fur boughs for now. 
and then get, get these areas where you know you have these little snowy dots. You want to kind of surround those with color. And remember, watercolor is the idea of things, so nothing has to be perfect. You're just showing um, that this is a snowy sky. Got this little bird, and he's got a little holly branch in his mouth. So cute and fun and simple. Really, the more that you do these projects, the simpler they are. They really are. And, you know, practice makes a difference. It doesn't matter how easy somebody tells you something is, uh, it's never that easy. And, you know, practicing, uh, even with these little stamps, you will be amazed at what you can do. I'm always just amazed, especially in the classes, what I see come out of these classes, you know, that people have done that think they're not artistic. But you are, and you can do these projects. You don't have to be an artist. You can do it. And like I said before, nobody would ever guess um, that these little things are stamped. Okay, so I'm kind of blending some of this in here together. You can do as much of this as you want to. Um, we can add a little uh, more color to this little birdhouse down the side here, just like this. Maybe another little shadow in here, under here. You know, it's it's okay to try different things and be courageous about doing stuff like this because um, that's what gives you confidence. Okay, now I would definitely add glitter to this and I would do that with my little Wink Stella. I don't know if you can see this on the video, uh, but I would go in here, especially when I'm doing these little um, snowy scenes, for sure go in here with with this Wink of Stella because it just adds so much and it's water soluble so it will blend your ink and it will saturate your color which I think adds a ton and you can always go into your palette and add more color so you can go back in here you can take some of this color and add more into your background here and just keep putting this on here so one thing left to do, and that is to sign a date and put that on a card and give it to somebody for Christmas. They are going to love that you made this for them. And this is something that people keep. You know, they don't toss that into the garbage can. They love it. So let's go ahead now. Everything is dry. Let's make sure everything is dry here and take off this. Take off this masking fluid, just rub it off with your hand. This comes off really easy. And just rub all of this off. And we've got our little snowy areas in the background. That looks pretty good. And we are finished. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you all next week.